Just by what you see in this image, the question is, what is the gas pipe or tubing material being used? CSST, and this is specifically Counter-Strike. CSST, which allegedly means that it's already bonded. The jacket is a bond throughout its entire length. If you haven't heard any of that yet, hopefully you have. But you have to bond to CSST. So if you have a lightning strike near the dwelling or building, that that bond or the counter strike carries the charge to a point where it will not jump from the tubing to a piece of metal, which causes a large hole like a bomb going off. In this case here, it will take the charge, run it down through the tubing to a proper ground. A proper ground could be happening at an appliance that the CSST is hooked up to that has an electrical outlet that the appliance, the gas appliance is plugged into, or maybe it's wired. Most gas appliances now are at some point, they're going to have a ground, they're going to either be plugged in or hardwired. And if they're connected to CSST, and if you don't cut too much of the jacket away, and you know how to install it because you were well certified, and you're a craftsperson, then everything is okay. You're also seeing on this image, the product manufactured approved striker plate right there. That's the striker plate. That striker plate is not the same metal striker plate or stud guard plate material that you will see when you go to a Home Depot or Lowe's or your local hardware store. That is hardened steel right there. A carpenter was, after it was sheetrocked, was going to put cornice molding up along where the ceiling meets the sidewall, probably going to be nailing it off with a pneumatic nailer. A pneumatic nailer is going to send most nails right through the regular striker plates you buy at a Home Depot or a Lowe's or your local hardware store. In this case here, hide and steel, it's not. It's going to bend it. It's not going to go anywhere. It's going to be sticking out of the wall. Carpenter's going to be a little <clears throat> irritated. It won't go all the way through, thus not ever getting to the CSST. And notice it's longer, it's definitely longer than any of the other ones you any of the other ones you've seen, and hopefully you're getting used to in the field. Because of that, all kinds of different moldings that can go on the wall that can actually come down well below where the connection or where the pipe is running through the top plate of the stud. So you got to be careful. You're always three, four inches, whether it's off the floor or down from the ceiling with those striker plates. That's what that is. This one over here, plumber used a very expensive striker plate to protect the PVC, which is cool. Except one thing you should notice, that's a really bad hole. You never over drill a hole that bad. That's just a red flag for the building inspector. So even though that doesn't appear to be a um, supporting wall, still a bad look for a plumber when you over drill a hole and you're just hacking up a building. Always try to be neat, use hole saws and don't over drill. Make sure you have the right size hole saw.